Great many things are still unaccounted for. The new Jade Chamber is missing many of the contents held by its predecessor. All the literature, furniture, and ornaments I had collected followed the original Jade Chamber to its watery grave. Most of it was destroyed in the process, and the small handful of items that survived intact are strewn across the water's surface. Reclaiming them is taxing work. It takes someone with sturdy sea legs to handle this job, but even then, I just can't tell whether Beta will be able to fish out everything herself. Wait, so you made Beto go and fish your stuff out of the sea for you? To claim that I made her do anything would be imprecise. We reached a mutually beneficial agreement, as is always the case in our dealings. Payment is one aspect of it, but I also compensate her in other ways. <laughs> Let's just say it's a little complicated. Anyway, Beto is currently in the Guyen Stone Forest area. If you're interested, go pay her a visit. You may be just the help she needs. You're really trying my patience. I'm sorry, but if the Jade Chamber smashed into smithereens when it hit the sea, then so did everything inside it. Just because I know the ocean doesn't mean I have the power to fish up the past. Oh, Traveler, what are you doing out this way? Great, you couldn't have picked a better time. The whole fleet's caught up with other things right now, so I'll take all the help I can get. Look, I even had to rope Shinyan into this. Did you come all the way out here to do a performance? You bet I did. <laughs> Nothing official, mind you. Beta wanted to hold a feast on board, and I agreed to come play a couple of tunes. But all that went out the window when someone showed up saying they were one of Ning Wong's secretaries. They called Beta away. I think it was Bai Wen or Bai Xiao. Uh, well, it was Bai something. Anyway, Ningguang apparently came up with the bright idea of me going out on the sea and salvaging a bunch of her old valuables. She seems pretty willing to shell out for it, too. <sighs> well, at the end of the day, the price was right. So, yeah, we took the work. Now, if we're gonna go trawling for trinkets, we're gonna need a smaller vessel. All the available boats have been dispatched already, but by the looks of it, we're still one short. Say so you have your own vessel, do ya? <laughs> Great, let's take yours then. The more people we have on this job, the better. Because the sooner we get this wrapped up, the sooner we can get that feast going and actually enjoy the festival. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, this is it? This is your boat? It's really, uh, compact. But it works. It's about the right size for sweeping up junk from the water's surface. The only thing is, we're packed in like sardines here. There's nowhere to put my guitar. Uh, Shinyan, your axe is getting a little too close for comfort. Hold up, are those treasure hoarders? Hmm, we don't usually see these guys out at sea. Could they be here for the same reason as us? Come on, Traveler, steer us a little closer. They headed back to shore. To reconvene with their posse, I'll bet. Speed it up a notch, traveler. This is a chase now. Captain Beto. <laughs> Captain Beto, it's been a while. Still fighting fit, I see. I guess it has been a while, Carmen. You're looking a little worse for wear. 
Maybe if you did your own dirty work rather than dispatching your minions, you wouldn't be so out of breath right now. <laughs> How you jest, Beto. Very amusing. <laughs> to get serious for a second, though, I'm gonna be needing all of this. So put everything down, and I won't cause you any more trouble. Of course, of course. Whatever Captain Beto wants. You heard her, people. Drop the goods. Here you are. It's all here. So, uh, we'll take our leave now? Wow, he did what we asked without a second thought. <laughs> Couldn't run off quickly enough either. Ugh, don't waste any more time on them. We've still got salvaging to do. Ah, but we should load this stash onto the boat first. Come on, Traveler, help me out here. Can't quite make out what they are. Let's bring them in and take a look. I'll take the rudder. Traveler, Shinyan, go reel them in. Hey, looks like another treasure hoarder raft straight up ahead, but why is it empty? I guess Carmen told all his people to call it off. Smart choice. He knows who he's up against. <laughs> Let's keep going. Come on. We gotta wrap this up soon. Leave the junk, take anything and everything of value. And I need a few of you to load the boat up. Move it! Whatever you're about to do, don't. And whatever goods you're holding, they're mine now. Uh, Beto, wh what are you doing here? I might ask you the same question. I mean, uh, what does it look like? We got lucky, found some treasure floating around in the ocean. If you see anything you like, it's yours for the taking. A token of our esteem for the mighty Captain Beto. <laughs> Is that right? Well, good. I'll take it all. I, but, uh, c come on. <laughs> Be reasonable here. Me and the guys have been busting a gut gathering all this up. Y y you gotta leave us a little something something, surely. Let me make this crystal clear. These things do not belong to you and they never will. So you're gonna put them down and then you're gonna get as far away from me as is physically possible. That's a little, uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, why don't we start over here, huh? You see, we... Huh. Sounds a lot like you're stalling to me. Talk is cheap. Let's settle this the old-fashioned way. Who's there? <laughs> right on target! <laughs> Quickly. 
Ah, uh, who cares? They didn't take anything with them. The bigger problem here is there's no way all of this is going to fit onto your boat. <sighs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. Unload the boat and put everything here in one place. Based on the original plan, Sea Drake's boat should be coming past here at some point. When they get here, we'll hitch a ride with them. In the meantime, Traveler, head back to the Jade Chamber and deliver a message to Ningguang for me. Just tell her we're almost done fishing for Trinkets here, so she should start getting my compensation ready. All right. Thanks, Traveler. If both Carmen and Leo Leo were here, then I wonder if that other boss of theirs, Big Sis, is snooping around. I've got to tell Sea Drake and the rest of the crew to stay on high alert. Welcome back. I trust Beto is making good progress on salvaging the items. Treasure hoarders, I see. Yes, I can imagine that must have been rather irksome. It sounds like you scared them off on this occasion, but it won't end there. They are not the type to forgive and forget. You needn't concern yourself with them any further, though. Leave them to Beto. She is well-versed in handling treasure hoarders. I will be sure to make preparations for her compensation. I also owe you my thanks for coming all this way to deliver Beto's message. Here, please take this as a token of my appreciation. Now, please excuse me. I have other business that demands my attention. I wish you a fun-filled festival. Sorry, anything business related is confidential. <laughs> 